Welcome to Electron Line. One of the more difficult concepts when we're dealing with lines in three dimensions is finding the shortest distance between two lines that are not necessarily parallel, that can be skew, but we're trying to find the shortest distance between those two lines and we don't have the points at the locations where we simply draw a line across saying that's the shortest distance. How do we do that? So I decided let's look at it conceptually first then we'll do a two-dimensional example and then we'll convert it to a three-dimensional example but at least let's go through the steps that we need to take so let's say we have two lines and they are not parallel each of the two lines does have a parallel vector v1 and v2 and we do need to know a point on either one on both of the lines so we need to know a point on line one and we need to know a point on line two that is absolutely required okay so the first thing we're going to do is find the vector that's perpendicular to both lines at the same time. In order to do that, we're going to simply take the cross product of vector 1 and vector 2. Since vector 1 is parallel to line 1 and vector 2 is parallel to line 2, if we take the cross product, we get a third vector which is perpendicular to both v1 and v2, which means it's perpendicular to both line 1 and line 2, and let's call that vector vector a. The next thing we need to do is find the vector that connects the two known points on the two lines. So we're simply going to take the difference in the x values, the difference in the y values, and the difference in the z values, and those are going to be the x, y, and z components of that vector. So simply vector b will then simply be the one with the x component being the difference of two x's, the y component being the difference of the two y's, and the z component being the difference of the two z's. So now we have vector A and we have vector B. Vector B connects two points, one on each of the lines, and vector A is perpendicular to both of the lines. Then we're going to take the dot product of vector B with the unit vector of vector A. In other words, we take vector A and divide it by its magnitude to simply get the direction along vector A. Remember, vector A was simply perpendicular to both lines 1 and 2. If we then take the dot product, what do we end up with? We end up with the length of the component of B in the direction of A. So we take the dot product. So basically we take the projection of B onto A, but we don't want it we don't want the magnitude of A, we would simply want the direction of A. That's why we take A and divide it by its magnitude, and we simply get the component of B along the direction of A. It turns out that is the shortest distance between the two lines. So the distance is simply going to be the component of B in the direction of A, or the length of the component of B in the direction of A, which can be found by taking the dot product of B and A and dividing it by the magnitude of A. And that's how we're going to find the distance. You may look at that and go, wow, how does that work? Well, let's show you a, an example in two dimensions, and then we'll show you an example in three dimensions. In two dimensions, it's easier to visualize it. In three dimensions, it's a lot more difficult to visualize it. So stay tuned, and we'll show you how that indeed works. And in the end, we'll do it on a problem where we know the two lines cross, or actually, yeah, cross one another, intersect one another, so therefore the distance should be zero for that particular example, and we'll find out how that works out. So anyway, there it is. Those are the steps we take to find the shortest distance between any two lines in space. That is how it's done.